Alright. Palu, this is good. This is good. This will be good. Set reviews? Yes, we are doing set reviews. I have another set after this, and then we will uh, do something else. Okay, up throw. So here you can do a lot. So there's a lot of... You can get a lot of damage just off of this, what you just did right here. So that's up throw, full hop. Uh, full hop, delay a little bit, and an up air, fast fall, up tilt. Up air, fast fall, catch landing. Because you can up air and land on the platform, and then they're still in stun, and you have time to do other stuff. Like, doing the double jump up air there doesn't put you in a good position. I mean, it, it puts you in a decent one because you hit them, but, like, you can land them. This That's a single full hop while drifting to the right, and then f up air, fast fall, land on the platform, up tilt, or up air, or fair, or catch their jump, uh, read their air dodge. But it's also Wi-Fi. I understand if you miss input that as well. Okay, grab, down throw, dash to... Ah! <laughs> Hold away. When she's down tilting you, hold away. Like, do your up, do your, like, recovery move, and then hold away. If you held away here, that wouldn't hit you. Like, uh, if you, if you, like, say you, so up B, and the second you up B and start moving, hold to the left, and she'll down tilt you, and you'll be, <coughs> you'll literally end up, here. Come on. You will end up, like, all the way over here when she down tilts you. You'll, instead of going straight up, you'll go this way, and she literally cannot follow up off of that. She can, like, try to edge guard you, but it's, but yeah, right here, you went straight up. If you held left here, you'd end up over here. You'd be all the way over here. She can't hit you. And it happened again. And, again, yeah. You're fine. Yeah, don't side be there. You're fine. Free punish, yes. Up throw, up air, or fair. Yeah, fair with rage is a little bit more consistent. <sighs> yeah, that. so you were... So, l l let's break this down. How did you go from grabbing him, you did not lose neutral one at all, at all, and then you died. You died. You haven't lost neutral, you, you haven't, and then you died. So, I'll, t I'll tell you why. <laughs> it's because, uh... You... Like, hella committed. What? This is so risky. <laughs> if you want to try to two-frame her there, you can just drop down and double jump near. Um, but here, honestly, in this position, you can kind of... You stand at ledge, and then you uh, you react to her drifting in. Those nares were not worth at all. You just ended up putting yourself at the ledge, and you got yourself killed. That was like an SD, almost. Yeah. Committed really quickly on ledge. Be a little bit more reactive there, and you won't get reversal as much, but that's like... I, t I tell myself that because I have the same problem. Okay, down throw. Okay, I don't agree with that. I don't care if it hit. Don't do that. <laughs> I guess if you think they're going to not DI it, but he did he DI'd it. Here, that's up throw, up air. You can up throw, up air him at this percent. Up throw, fair him. Up throw, up air, up throw, fair, and then catch his landing. The down, you can down, you can down throw tech chase, but it's a lot less consistent because it's literally not guaranteed at all. Good reaction. <laughs> I got nothing to say about that. <laughs> Hold away on that down tilt. Okay, punish or yeah, pressure him, pressure him. Okay, your pressure is good, and then it's and then you just drop it. That was good. If you don't want to go for an immediate punish, like you just okay, like right here, you got off the ledge. Wait, did I press forward by accident? What, what happened? Hold on, I have lost the place that I'm in. What part were we on? Did I fuck? Did I mess up? Hold on. Go back like 30 seconds? Oh, I messed up. Okay. Yes, right here, right here, I think it was. Yeah, I messed up. I, I misclicked on my keyboard, sorry. <laughs> okay, yes, that was such a good roll-in. And you could have got... I think you could have got a punish. And 
you were probably thinking the same thing. Like, I think I can get a punish, but you're like, you don't want to risk getting, like, spot dodge reversal right when you just got, like, the, the positioning you need. So I, I, I agree that you started, you know, just pressuring him. Right, that's a punish. Punish that. Punish that. He drifted, he drifted back, like, you can see his drift, you can react to his drift. He, he didn't air, drift back, he's like, oh shit, I missed, let me drift forward to get away from him. That is the easiest punish ever, that's grab, the dash tech, F tilt, anything. You opted not to punish it, which is uh, fine, as long as you maintain your position. You kind of did, but then you started, you, you dashed a little bit further than you should have, I think. It kind of alleviated him a little bit. You ended up catching the landing there. But you weren't able to convert, like, let's see. You caught the landing on the dash attack, caught the short hop, and then he drifted into you with an aerial, and he just didn't react. He just dashed into it. I do this all the time as well, by the way. Uh, <laughs> here you parry or you walk. So instead, of, when you're this close to a landing aerial, when you're this close, you can either walk into it and parry or just walk. In, it's walking's a lot better in this, in this position. When you're this close to a landing aerial, dashing, you can dash and parry, but it's a lot clunkier than... And it's a lot less, it's a lot more difficult to control than walking and then parrying. Walking and then just outranging it ever so slightly and then F-tilting him. Or just grabbing his shield or, or whatever. Okay, so in this position, right here, when, pe when people are in tumble over a platform, they either jump away, throw out an aerial, or they air dodge. I like to go for the air dodge read a lot because I get the most out of it. So imagine right here, instead of going for an immediate, because like you, there's like, there's like two, there's two windows you can attack here. You can either attack the immediate, you can immediately attack, which will get beat out by, so if you press an immediate button here, that'll get beat out by an up air, uh, or not up air, a jump away if he jumps away, unless you read the jump away, or um, if he presses a button right away, no, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. If you press an immediate up air, which you did, if he air dodges, it'll miss, and if he jumps away, it'll miss. So that's the first window. The second window is you can wait and punish either a landing aerial, an air dodge, or a jump away. And if you can't get an immediate, so with the jump away, you have to commit to like a read, a direction, and same with the air dodge as well. And if you miss those, you can still pressure him. So this is why I'd pick the second window. I'd pick the wait, I'd wait. So right here, what you did was you did an immediate button, what ended up happening was you lost your, like, you, you, he's still above you, and you can pressure a shield, but you don't get as much. Now, let's say you waited. Let's say you waited. Like, the interaction there, once he lands in shields, he's in, he's, he has more control now. And you miss your punish, because you did an immediate option. Um, which is fine, because immediate option, if he doesn't press anything, it'll hit him. But let's say he, let's say you wait here. Let's see you wait. He air dodges, you short hop, and you punish the air dodge. You, do, you can get up air, up air, up air. You can do a lot, right? Let's say he presses a button, and you wait. Same thing. You can short hop and then punish the uh, the button. Uh, punish the fair, punish the nair by going under it and up airing it. Now, let's say he jumps away, and you, and you try to read the air dodge. Okay, you don't get a punish, but he has to land, and you can still punish his landing, and you have all the time in the world to react. So... If you're wrong, if you do an immediate button here and you're wrong, the interaction ends. But if you do a wait here and you're wrong, you can still chase him in the air. So you you don't get you might not get as much damage, maybe, it, but you get to maintain your positioning a little bit a little, a little bit more. It's kind of like killing two and a, one and a half birds with one stone. So if you wait, you get to punish uh, an air dodge and a button. And if he jumps away, you can you can cover the landing. But if you press an immediate button, it'll lose to air dodge, it'll lose to jump away. But it'll punish a button or a, a, a nothing press. Because it doesn't, it's, you won't cover everything by waiting, but you'll cover, you'll cover more things. And if he jumps away, you won't like directly cover it by hitting him out of it, but you'll be able to chase him on his way down. Because he jumped away, he doesn't have a jump anymore. Like he's either going to teleport, he's either going to aerial, and Wolf is incredible at catching that. So that's why I say one and a half birds, <laughs> because like it's like half of a coverage, because you get to cover like after the jump. Nice, <laughs> nice. Up throw him here. Stop. Enough with it. You down throw at the wrong percents all the time, and it's it's aggravating me, because <laughs> they're gonna di it down, and you don't get shit. Up throw up air still works at this percent. Up throw fair still works at this percent. It works until like 50, 60. <laughs> with no rage. With rage, it'll work to like 40. Even, honestly, with rage, it probably does hit at 50 if you're really quick. I do it all the time. Yeah, up throw there. They're going to DI out. Like, you get similar positioning and you get more damage.
Okay, tech chase. Dash a little bit closer, I'd say, because then you can react to the tech in. Also, most people don't tech in there. Most people, you know, some some a minority does, but it's it's like like it's very clear that it's worse to tech in there. Get a little bit closer when you forward throw there, so you can react to the tech away. A little bit closer, and if they tech in, you can still you can still cover it. You just have to be very on point. Yeah, they just caught your landing there. All right, I believe that was the last game. Um, and then your main question was, the biggest thing I want to work on is my punish game, so how can I optimize my combos and positioning when I hit them and how to close out stocks earlier? I got you. It's uh, it's all about reacting with your hit confirms and knowing what to do when you hit your fares, your up airs, and that really all comes from watching other wolves or understanding it yourself. But, you know, if, if that's not working, just watch the other wolves, see how they place their up airs also pr the main thing is the way you time your aerials you're timing them a little bit early you want to do them lower to the ground really low to the ground while still having them be true and it's not a super strict timing to master because you have a lot of hits done off your aerials um but the main thing with the combos is uh there's a lot of situations where uh you're just not reacting quick enough when you hit fair you're not reacting quick enough when you hit uh when you hit your your, your nares and stuff like that a lot like a lot of it is just like, I, I can give you, like, if I told, if I were try to try to tell you every combo you should do right now, we'd be here for two hours. Like, it, it's all about just watching other wolves, and you're not going to get them right away, but you're going to, you're going to look at them and be like, oh, I could have done this here. Um, like, even in the moment, like, you'll do something, like, you'll do an, a suboptimal combo, but then in your head, you'll be like, oh, I could have done this, and then it snowballs into actually inputting it and actually doing all of that. So, yeah, I, I hope that helps. So yeah, my, my biggest piece of advice is work on your hit confirms, and that's just reacting to when you hit your combos. Um, don't be afraid to drop them. Don't be afraid to try the complex combos, and then um, if you start if you drop them, it's cool because you'll you'll learn like okay, I did them too slow here. I did this too slow. I didn't time it right. I did it too quick. I fast fell too early. I fast fell too late. Um, another thing is wait a little bit more when you're landing and when you're catching landings. Um, because a lot of the time, if you wait um, and you don't get an immediate punish, you can still punish their landing. You can still punish their uh, their defensive option on the ground. Um, and when you're landing, when you're landing, you have you have all the time in the world to just drift around, kind of like a balloon in the air with your air drift, and then mix it up with double. Like you can drift this way, double jump this way, and then you you have your big hit boxes as well. So honestly, the biggest thing is take your time. Take your time in almost every aspect. Take your time and react a little bit more. A lot of what you do is preemptive, which is okay, but when everything is preemptive, it, it's, it, it breeds inconsistency in your play. And I have the same problem when I tech chase. I almost always go for a read when I can easily react. And it's, it's good to go for reads, just if you're going for a read every time, that's inherently inconsistent, because you're not going to be right every time. But if you react every time, and you're, you have a good reaction time and you've practiced it, then you can react almost every time. It's more consistent. All right. Hope that helped. Thank you so much for uh, getting a set review for me. And let's play soon, yeah? <laughs>